Hi guys, it's Carl again, and today I've got a Fortnite video. It's a very quick video. It's basically showing what settings I use and what I would recommend. Basically, it's my own opinion. You don't have to do any of this, but it might help you. So, let's start. On your screen right now, the wireless controller settings, X and Y, I leave that on seven. I don't like it too high, I don't like it too low. The reason why I don't like it high is because I don't like it, you know, it's too, it's too fast for me, um, I just don't like it. But, the sensitivity really is your own opinion of how you like to play. As much people say, oh yeah, this higher sensitivity is better, because it's quicker to, you know, move, or, you know, to look around. It's personal opinion at the end of the day. Um, if you like it quick, go as high as you can. If you don't like it quick, you know, go to five. Like seven's right in the middle, and I like it. Um, but if you want to improve your game, and you want to be able to go higher sensitivity, what I would recommend would be to ease yourself up. So go from like a six, one game to a seven, then to an eight. If you don't like the eight, go back down to the seven. It's just, it's just finding the right choice for you. Um, next down on this is the mouse. We don't use the mouse because it's on a PlayStation 4. So let's go down to the next important one, which is the wireless controller scope sensitivity. I have that on 0.7. It's, it's, it's like anything else with the moving sensitivity in the scope. You want it how you like it. End of the day, just keep trying. If you don't like that, um, go 0.6 or you want it higher, 0.8. Just find the right balance for your own game. Um, the next one down there is uncapped frame rate. You want that on because you want to be able to run at 60 frames per second each game. That means the game's going to load up better. You can be able to. It's just, it's just a better loading. 60 frames per second rather than your 30. I'm going for 60. So you want that on. Um, the next one right down there is reset building choice. Um, I like that one because what I don't like is, for example, you've built some stairs, yeah? and then you're on those stairs shooting, you, you get the person you want, and you jump off the stairs to move away from the storm. Someone starts shooting at you. So you quickly p p bring up the building pad, you know, and it stairs, and you accidentally put the stairs down. So you, you know, it's not much protection because of the way it goes up. Whereas with a straight wall, you've got that protection. So that's why I like to reset it, go straight back to the first one, the wall, and so on. Um, so yeah, that, that's that. The audio, I pretty much left as default, except from the sound FX volume. You want that as high as you want it, basically. You don't want it low, you want it higher than the other ones. I put it on 0.75. Basically what this is, is it's the sound coming from other players, so their movement. You know when you're running, when they're running around in the house, you can hear them. Um, you can hear them much louder, so you have a better idea if they're up or below, if they're opening chests, if they're swapping to a shotgun. Because when they swap to a shotgun, you hear them. Um, you know, go ch -ch -ch with the shotgun, so you hear all of that. And when they're reloading, so yeah, the higher that is, like seven point five, is good. And these like headsets, you know, just just tweak it a bit so you don't deafen yourself. Um, the last bit is the wireless controller. Um, I have my configuration on Combat Pro. The reason being, I like to switch between my between my you know like inventory, whatever you want to call it, your bar at the bottom, relatively quick. Whereas if you are on standard, it's next piece. So it's triangle, triangle, you know, it's a triangle until you get what you want and I, I don't think it's quick enough so I will have it on combat pro um, the best thing to do really to decide um, what you want is just to go into your settings have a look look at all these try it it's not for you go standard but what I would recommend is um, when I start playing I, I left it on standard no idea until I looked at the you know controls and I was like Combat Pro, oh, that one's actually better. And then it took me like two or three games to get used to it. So do that period. If you still don't like it, just go back. You got to play how you like. These settings are just the ones I think for personally me are better for me, um, and some people might like it as well. So 
is all about with these settings is to try what you think and if it don't work try something else just keep trying keep crying trying don't cry about it until you get the right settings and when you get the right settings you will know because you'll start getting a lot better at this game so um, yeah it's a very short video it's just going through some of the settings um, so yeah thank you for watching if you're new around here please leave a like if you like the video please um, comment on any suggestions um, you know about settings on the game or whatever you want to comment and if I've helped you and um, subscribe for more and my Fortnite videos I'm just getting trying to get some good gameplays at the moment um, but I will be uploading very soon some Fortnite gameplay so thank you very much bye for now enough times I got our escape to get my mind right in the limelight that I can be too bright for your eyes, I. But I'm ready for the flash of the time that I pull up in a Myrag.